Good morning, it's Tuesday the 24th of July. You're listening to the No Nonsense Breakfast with me, Mike Graham. I'm in for Julie Hartley Brewer, of course. Lots of big, big stories. George Galloway coming up uh, at 10 o'clock. We'll be speaking to him very, very shortly. Uh, And, of course, we'll be talking all morning about how hot it is uh, and how you need some tips to get cool. Uh, Coming up now, uh, we're going to talk to a very, very uh, wonderful woman called Louise Redknapp, who's launched a survey into confidence uh, after the age of 40. Louise, a very good morning to you. Hi, morning. Thanks very much. <laughs> Thanks very much indeed for joining us. We might ask you later on if you've got any tips for staying cool, uh, because you always look very cool, but it's very hot out there. Um, tell us, you know, you don't, you don't strike me as a woman who would be lacking in confidence, but, but you've got some news on that front. Um, do you know what? I, I think that all men, women, all different ages, I don't think it just comes down to women over 40 that can lose their confidence. I think... You know, it's something that happens across the board. And I started sort of working alongside sex overs, and, and it was something that just came up a lot. And it was about, you know, changing, um, finding new things. And, and for me, it was all of a sudden going, OK, now I've got to wear some glasses. How am I going to pull this one off? Even right. though I look at lots of other people in them, it's just sort of things to change, you know. So, um, But I think confidence is a thing that comes and goes throughout your life anyway. I don't think you can... Kind of ever just pinpoint it. No, indeed. And I guess the thing is, particularly even now, still for women, you know, how you look uh, is taken a lot more seriously than, than it is for men. I mean, men, as we know from just looking at people on television, can work, uh, you know, into their seventies on TV, but you don't see that happening with women very often. I think I think the world's slightly more forgiving with men <laughs> if they're having a bad day. I think for women, I, I just think nowadays we want to try and wake our best, and we put a huge amount of pressure on ourselves. I think social media is brilliant as it is and we all use it to promote ourselves and businesses and everything else. So um, it's an important part of what we do. Um, I think it also comes with a bit of a double-edged sword where you can often feel that you're putting yourself up against lots of other people and um, and kind of judging other people, you know, judging yourself against other people. So it's quite difficult. It is. And I mean, according to this uh, Specsavers study, two-fifths of, of Brits wish they had a better sense of style. I mean, uh, I wish they had a better sense of style as well, but, I mean, that's another <laughs> story, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think it's, we get so much information now, almost too much, that I think we sort of lose our way a little bit on actually just sticking by what suits us. It's not a bad thing. If we, we had a bit of a style uniform that works for us, whether it be, you know, and just incorporating little bits of sort of different fashion elements but actually just be confident enough to wear what we know looks good on us and what we're comfortable with. I sometimes think that's your best way and your best sense of style. Yes, indeed. I mean, you've obviously changed your style over the years, but, I mean, you know, you're still a very young woman as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to tell you exactly how old I am, <laughs> but you've got, you know, you've got plenty of time left to change your style a few more times, haven't you? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of, I'm, I stick a little bit to what I like and what I know and just incorporate bits, which now happens be obviously sort of when I'm reading glasses um but yeah it's it's I think again it's about just being smart with it I think we put so much pressure on having the latest thing and having the latest look and actually you can just stick to what works for you and just bring in small little elements I actually ran a fashion blog and through that I we really speak to so many women and so many women who ask the same question I get bored with what I'm wearing and I've lost my confidence in to change things up. And we always say don't feel that you have to keep changing things up. Be confident and just bring in small little things that maybe make you feel more fashionable. It doesn't have to be the whole outfit. It can just be a pair of shoes or a bag or a T-shirt or anything. Yeah, absolutely. And, and given it is so hot at the moment, I mean, I don't know where in the oh. world you are, but I mean, <laughs> if you're in this country, it is so hot. Um, what, are, what, are, what are you doing to keep cool today? You we're out we're the doing that... We're doing that Brit thing, aren't we, where we moan all year that we don't have nice weather and exactly. then we have really nice weather and we're all moaning and <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad. But, um, yeah, it's, I think it's really lovely to have this hot weather when you're going around a, a pool or you're sitting, you know, by a beach. But when you're getting up and going to work, it just isn't quite the same, is it? And now a stone pool, like I said, I don't change up my style uniform very often. So yesterday I did swelter in denim. Oh, uh, OK. <laughs> 
I learned a very harsh lesson that no denim when it's over 30 degrees. No, that's definitely not a good idea unless <laughs> it's a sort of denim bikini or something. Yeah. That's right. Louise, listen, well, thank you very much indeed. Good luck with uh, with everything. Uh, we'll talk to you oh, soon. Thank you. Take care. Louise Redknapp there speaking for the first time about how she lost a bit of confidence when she approached 40, uh, which is sometimes amazing and hard to believe, but uh, she's all right now.